Hi guys, now I'm gonna show you a fragment, 15 seconds, on one side of the screen me driving a car using a controller, on the other side a gamer with a steering wheel. Your task is to recognize where the controller is and where the steering wheel. Look very carefully, 15 seconds, let's go. Well, the answer is obvious, right? The difference so visible, explicit, evident. Ok, let's watch this fragment again with me speaking. Yep, I was on the left. On the right side the car moves much smoother, only steering wheel can do this. No, wait, I am on the right. Wait, where was I? Do you able to figure it out? Sorry guys, I didn't mean to mess with you. The truth is, telling the difference not that easy. I was on the right. Real talk, the picture quality where I play with controller is much better, this is the main hint. Let's watch the whole stage, now I'll be on the left side and Henrik M on the right. I'm gonna say right away, this is video is not about the time results, it's about comparison of the gamepad and steering wheel in rally games. I chose this old Henrix video because I like the combination of stage and the car. I really love the short stage and Subaru Impreza too. And also it wasn't difficult for me to complete this stage at about the same level as Henrik. Both Henrik and I have much better results at this stage. Henrik is just too careful here and I, on the contrary, drive more aggressively. Ok, a controller and a steering wheel. Unfortunately, there is a prejudice, the only noobs and those who don't take sim racing seriously use the controller. No complaints about Henrik, from the videos I've seen, only my respect. In general, steering wheel owners behave like an elitist majority, but the truth is that I represent the majority. There are significantly more gamers using gamepads, simply based on the availability of controllers. And I want us all to feel equal. I don't want any of controller owners to feel bad about using pads. Moreover, you have already everything you need to properly control the car. You need just effectively balance the weight of the car and estimate the braking distance. And main plus, controllers are much more convenient to use. Don't underestimate the capabilities of this tool. Just because you have fewer strings doesn't mean you're gonna play worse. If you know the stage well, then you'll be able to show decent results with both the controller and the steering wheel. The only thing the wheel excels in is a thousand degree steering scale, which make it possible to feel more confident when you take sharp turns. And as confirmation of this, in our case, perhaps hairpins are easier for Henrik. Of the four classic hairpins at this stage, only the last one I drove a little better. As well, I want to draw your attention to the simplicity of the other turns and high speed sections we both drive at this stage. I can change the answers on which side I'm on throughout the entire video and you won't be able to tell the difference between the steering wheel and the controller. Unless you have arguments, then write comments and I'll be glad to read and discuss them. In addition, I've seen a lot of comments when wheel owners say that they prefer controllers for certain racing games or occasions, again, due to ease of use. Often you have one PC for all your needs and it's very inconvenient to connect and configure your steering wheels and pedals every time. So throw away this garbage and switch to Game Pass. No, I'm kidding. It's pretty obvious that controllers are suffering from understeer and most pod users would happily buy a steering wheel for themselves. And here the main disadvantage of good steering wheel comes up – its price. Not everyone can clearly answer the question of whether they are so passionate about racing games that they'd spend so much money. And this is a reasonable question. One day I'm gonna buy a steering wheel as well, let's see if my opinion changes. One thing I can say for sure is that no matter what advantages the steering wheel has, they are not gonna replace the original advantages that the controllers have. I hope the actual steering wheel experience is more enjoyable, more fun and more immersive. This is my main expectation. But I respect the wishes of casual gamers 
who wants to enjoy the process and keep things simple at the same time. Both a controller and a steering wheel can provide an amazing playing experience. Ok, now you can watch the comparison without my voice. There is a link to Henrik's full video in the description. You can also watch my full video showing the controller and the buttons I press at the end of this video. Take care and have a good stage.
to follow white long. 30, four left. Into four right long. Keep left of a 50. Caution. Six right. Five left. Extra long. Into five right long. Slow. Keep right of a 60. Unseen. Open air in left. Keep middle of a 80. Six left long. Opens of a crest. Keep left of a 150. Unseen. Open air in right. Into six left long. 50. Six right of a crest jump. 50. Three right tightens. Three left. Keep right of a 50. Of a crest. Six left. Of a finish. Into four right. 